This is a Frank podcast. G'day everybody and welcome to another episode of Wellington Paranormal, the podcast with me, Mike Minogue, and her. Me, uh, that's her, the cat's mother. No, that's <laughs> she, Karen O'Leary. Can you tell me, Karen O'Leary, that reminds yes. me of what you've just said there. That reminds me of, um, I used to go to Manual. So, I, yeah, I, you know, I went to- Form 1 and um, 2. Form 1 and 2. Yeah. And uh, for us, that meant travelling from St. Joseph's School of Inn um, up to Manawatu College, I think it was, in mm. Foxton. Um, and our the woodwork teacher, he always used to say that, so you'd say he'd ask you a question. You go, "Oh, she said it was okay, or whatever." For an example, and he she would say, "She's a cat's mother." The cat. She's, she's a the cat's, cat's mother's. Yeah. 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 So what's the guts with that? Can you explain it? Because I ne- could never understand it, and I would. He was. Yeah. Actually, he was quite a funny guy in retrospect, but at the time he annoyed me. Well, it's it's a very common saying, and the origins it is. of that uh, for me certainly. Um, my nana, she said it to me, and I've got no idea why. Yeah. Yeah, but. Well, that's she's what I'm sort of saying. Mother. That's an, that's an origin. I've Who's got an origin as well. Um, she's the cat's mother, and I'm going to look this up in real time. Yeah. Uh, etymology, even though I think that's for a word and not for a whole phrase. No, it can be for a phrase. It actually began somewhere in 19th century, I believe. So this is this is facts. When you Google then, something and it say says I believe. I believe, oh yeah, it was used by a girl's mother or grandmother to bring attention to the child when she referred to an older woman as she. To bring attention to their own. Uh, What's the cat got to do with it? Yeah, that's my sort of concern here. Who's she, the cat's uh, mother? Because it was always a bad thing if you said that. And the scolding mind considered who she, the cat's mother. We can see why she is in there. Nobody knows. Okay, so the end of the day. Um, Nobody knows. But it's still a good saying and you should use it if you want to. I think so. Hmm. What about then why do we say the cat's pyjamas? Mother is the modern English equivalent of the old English Mordor, the, she's the pronounced Mordor. This comes from the Latin word Marta, pronounced Marta. I know that. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure most of the fine folks reading this could guess as much as the phrase, oh, oh my God, anyway. <laughs> Bit of a detour to get us all started there. What have you been doing today? Me? Today or just in general? I think we'll start with today. Today I've been working. I've yes. been making some um, content, video content yes. um, for a – a, a shop, um, and it was very fun. Ended up, I get, got to run around in the blazing Auckland sunshine. Hot, isn't it? Yep, too hot for me. And Is it? Also, had to run. So it yeah, wasn't that's not a good combination. Well, actually, I thought I looked quite good. No, I know you thought you looked quite good, but you just said you don't like the heat and you don't like running. No. Yeah. No, so I got to spend it on a boat. Is, that's why you asked me what I did today specifically, so you could tell me about what you did today. Yeah. Yeah. Went out on a boat. <laughs> it's a nice boat. Yep. It did How make many me. Feet? 82 feet. It's a big boat. 82 feet sleeps nine people, or more actually, plus the crew. It had a crew on it. Yeah. So this was for the radio show and we had some winners that we took out. We took about 30 winners out on it. Uh, But it was for Maritime New Zealand and they're promoting safe water stuff. Yeah, water safety. So that was all part of it. And uh, but as a result of that, we got all these competition winners from all around the company to come. Genius! They, oh, we're going to get on a boat. We're going to get smashed. It's to those bits. guys. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be hard out. And of course, you weren't allowed to drink. Well, they weren't allowed to drink. Well, neither was I. But I'm not. <laughs> um, so, but that people, it was still a lot of fun without any of the drinking. Well, maybe it's you know might have shifted their their thinking a little bit. Maybe it could have actually been a very powerful experience. It, c- it could have been. Uh, Jason Hoyt uh, caught a fish with. He brought his rod with him. Yep. Caught an undersized snapper, an undersized snapper, and then a barely sized snapper, which yep. was good. Yeah. And then he tried to fish again, and then his reel fell off the rod. <laughs> into the, into the quite, ocean? No. Oh, that's a shame. But it was in front of 50 people, so that yeah, was good. Yeah, and I've yeah. never seen that before. It just detached just itself from the rod off. when nothing was happening. Yeah. So he has that kind of uh, has that kind of luck. But it was nice, beautiful day out there to be on a. An 82 on a, foot yacht. Yeah. And doing bombs off the top of it, parked up at a, a little bay I mean, to, on Waiheke to be, Island to be there. Fair, and I think I'd, I'd still choose a canoe down the Whanganui River. And having a run could, down a street in Auckland. Around in the blazing a sun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, you know, look, we've both had great days. We and, have. You know, and it's obviously now, it's just got heaps better. 
so much better. That you're yawning already in my company. I tell you what, man, I'm not sleeping well. Well. I'm not sleeping well at all. How many hours do you get? I don't imagine I don't that you're a many. solid sleeper. Why not? I don't. I just don't see it. I think if you would I be just, somebody that would uh, go to sleep late, wake up early. Yeah, because that's what I want to do because I don't like being asleep because it's so boring. That's right. Yeah. No, but see that? I've, I've guessed that correctly. And do you yeah. sleep fitfully or solidly? Oh, pretty solidly. And once I decide to go to sleep, I'm asleep within about three seconds. Yeah, that's a good thing. My my wife can do that. Yeah. And then, yeah. I've been good lately with that part of it. But, but you've, I'm still, always, you've always been someone that likes a lot of sleep. Uh Oh, uh, I think yeah. a more accurate way to put it would be I've always been somebody <laughs> that needs, needs more sleep, of... sleep than he's getting. So I go to sleep at I, – I probably get five or six hours sleep a night. But I go to bed about half past nine. Yeah. I'm out. I wake up at two o'clock, maybe for a couple of hours, maybe get another half hour sleep, back awake for another couple of hours, and back to – so you, I'm well, not going, getting going, solid sleep. What's going, why are you waking up? Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Why am I? Oh, I think it's probably become now a habit. Well, and it's something you need to yeah. break. The habit varies though, and largely well, it's not a habit then is it? It's it just, well, no, nah, because it, it it happens and it consistently happens for a period, and then something about it, changes, it will change. Shifts. So it it's might at the habit. moment I'm falling asleep. Bang, I'm out. Yeah, that's a treat. I don't always get there. Other times it will take me forever to fall asleep. So at the moment I'm enjoying going to sleep quickly. But the do you and fit, do you and your Wife go to sleep at the same time? Every single night, every single night, yes. we go to bed together. Nice. Every single night. Except if you're not there. Well, yeah, we time it to make sure. Even now it's time for there. you to go to sleep, <laughs> even if you're out at a party. <laughs> <laughs> you go to sleep. Um, yeah, which I like. I like doing that. Yeah, I know there's people likewise. that don't do that, but that's what we've always done. I've never stayed up. I don't stay up and watch something else on TV. I don't leave the light on and read a book for a while. I just go to sleep. <laughs> or just turn the light off and read a book for a turn while. Turn the light off, read the light. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't do that. But she, Zah, will go to sleep and be asleep from until that moment the until time. the morning. And I am envious of that. Yeah, very envious of that. I'd love to sleep. I used to, you know, back in the day, I'd sleep yeah. fine. But are you, is in terms of envious of that, are you envious of this? <sighs> And I'm just holding out this thing, so you have to describe it. It is a um, some kind of a carry bag situation. It's blue. I'd say it's probably 600 mils long mm -hmm. by ooh, 100 to 125 mils wide. Uh, it look, it's got stag written on it. I've not heard of it. I've not heard of it before. It's got the look of some kind of a, a cricket kit bag. Mm, so that's what I wanted you to guess what was in. This was one of my um, Valentine's Day gifts from Eilish. Really? Yeah. Which there were many. I even got it. I got it, and I got a mystery tour around to the basin to near a park where you did you? Cricket. Yeah, yep, yep. Went to um went to a delightful brunch, and um. But I also got this. This is one of the amazing gifts. Do you want to guess what's in it? You said cricket. Oh, yeah, I feel it does feel cricket related. I don't think it'll be a scoring card. I don't think it would because I don't think you'd do that. Oh, look at that. Check this out. It's a keyboard, everyone. Yeah, I've been practicing a song for you. Oh, God. <laughs> so I mean, great. <laughs> <laughs> you just put that in there, right? It's, it's, a, it's a melodica. And then you just Is got it? This handy dandy hand strap. I blow this, right? Good at that. Obviously, done quite a lot of that. Work in progress, obviously, but bloody good. <laughs> what the f are you talking about? That's amazing. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah. Now, that's powered by your breath. Yeah, that's why it was a bit hard to get those. It's got a bit buff, puffed by the end Yeah, of it. I mean, you wouldn't want to do a long session. I think it's, on more, it. it's more of an impact player. Nice. You know? Yeah, so you bring it out. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I know. Well, thanks, Eilish. That's really I good. I love it. So tell, talk me through your Valentine's Day then. In, in this world, we're, we're a couple of days, uh, one day past Valentine's Day. In this world? In this okay, world great. that we're in, but the yeah. listeners are in a different world. Yeah, well, that's God not knows our, that's when they're in this. <laughs> that's not our fault. 
So Valentine's Day was lovely. Woke up and um, had to take my darling son Melvin to school. Yes. And normally Eilish would stay at home during that time, potentially still asleep. But she's like, oh. she likes to sleep, does she? She she have a snooze. She likes well. If if she stays up, like if we stay up too late, yeah. then she needs to sleep in. Whereas I don't sleep in. I just go get up. Yeah. But if she goes to bed early, then she's up. Happy yeah. as Larry in the morning. So um, we took Melbourne to school. That was lovely. Happy as Lisa. Yeah, happy as a lizard in a bush. <laughs> um, and then we, um, then she was like, okay, well, I'm, and I said, because I haven't traditionally been a, a big Valentine's Day, but I think it's a, Thank you. Basically a crock of shit. Yeah, that's right. And Commercialising she, it. She knows yeah. that about me. And, and she was like, I've just got like, I said, you haven't got me anything for that because I haven't got you anything, like nothing yeah, yeah, at yeah. all. That sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. We all remember Christmas. Um, <laughs> whatever, Bunnings. I got some that gravity cheers paying dividends. Um, yeah, so then she was like, I've just organised this little thing. I was like, okay, she's going to take me out for brunch. That's lovely. Whatever. We won't do that even if it wasn't Valentine's Day. So sure. I feel okay about it. That was it. okay. Yeah. Not so, going to make a fuss about it. No, what the, what the, what's going on yeah, here? I'm not You're taking going out her out for a day. nice romantic no. day. <laughs> no. This is effing bullshit. No, so we got back and I thought it just was that. And then she she got out this, she'd made. Got like out a, what? A little. <laughs> not like you the other week, getting those out. No, no, not like that. <laughs> that wasn't. Anyway, um, she got out a little, she always makes paper cranes. Oh, yeah, I like those. Very good at those. She can make those. She makes them all the time. And it was. You know, I think that's quite a nice doodle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Something to sit there doing. It's yeah. like knitting, but and, not but as good. But then you achieve something. And a doodle is just like Do a mess would... on a paper. Yeah. But so a yeah, crane, it's, like, it's like a, a, it's a knitting yeah. 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 A knitting y. Yeah, it's like knitting isn't it? N- what on earth is knitting y? Knitting You yeah, know okay. exactly what I'm talking about. That's the show. Anyway, the long story short, this is going to be like your kidney stone story all over again. It's No, nah, the longer the better. Okay, great. Well, she made she made these little notes that had numbers on them. And the, each one had a crane attached, oh, so like it was this. number one, and that was the first one. And I had to uh, to un, uh, to work out the clue to know where to go first. And okay, we couldn't go What's until I worked it out. Uh, well, I can't remember, okay. but I knew it was Tanera straight away. Right to so, what? Tanera Park, which is where I used to, when I first played cricket. I used to play cricket there, and we take the dog there all the Isn't time. Isn't it funny? Yeah. Lived there for sixteen years, never heard of it. It's on Brooklyn Hill. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful, lovely. Hopeless. Anyway, went to Tanera and then she gave me the present at Tanera, which was a lovely hazy pale ale called. Uh, she knows your heart. She knows the way to your heart. Fantagasm, which is just oh, a nice mix of words. Yeah, yeah, loved yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and also another gift that was a little bit more personal. Yep. Okay. Um, but will be very fun indeed. Yes. Um, and then we went for a walk with the dog, and then I had to open the next one and work out where to go next. And Great. It was the Basin Reserve. Went to the basin, walked around the basin, got to see my name plaque on the fence, which she got me a couple of years ago for my birthday. That is such a great present. I know. I know. It yeah. really is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's mm. there for 10 years as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. So then we'll Hopefully the relationship lasts that long. Oh, without a but shit you can't, of a you doubt. can't. I mean, who would know? The yeah. important thing is you've got your from, name on a plaque. It doesn't say from Eilish at the bottom of it. Yeah, it could be from but anyone. But also, it could well say, I'll go and paint that on the fence. <laughs> Thanks, Eilish. I love you. And disappearing ink. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then we went to Now I'm only joking, Eilish. I know you listen to this podcast. I know this forever. This is a very thoughtful gift she gives you. Yeah. And then we should we went to You the... and your bunnings. Oh sh- look. And then we went to the surgery, which was a recording studio where we made the our f- album when I first really got to know her and meet her. Yes. And that was lovely. That's where I got the melodica, because that's musical, you see. All tied in. I got the furry cricket ball thing at the basin and then we went for brunch. Right. Yeah. Can you talk me through the Wellington, uh, the, not the Wellington Paranormal because I know most of that stuff, <laughs> yeah. what you did again at uh, the Basin Reserve because I completely was. I know, you're on your phone. I'm on I my thought. phone but the re- there is a reason why I'm on my phone and I don't want you to hate me for that. No, no, there's a question related to what's going on here. So I want to hear that again, please. Go. Okay. We went to the Basin Reserve yes. and then walked around the Basin, which I will always love. Actually, the Firebirds were doing some training. They were also oh, playing yeah. the Auckland that day. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we sat down with the dog and she had given me, and she's like, I know you hate, again, she's, she knows me. So she's like, I know you hate Valentine's Day. Still organise something lovely, which is, you know. And then she's like, I know you hate, like, soft toys, really. You know, they're not really my cup of oh, tea. Oh, God. But have this, you embarrassed yourself with a soft toy, have you? No, no, because this is the <laughs> best thing ever. And I, I'm going to post a photo oh. of it on my Instagram for anyone that wants to see it. It's like a little cricket ball with a floppy hat on. It's actually fucking cool. Oh, that's pretty good. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's related, you know. It's all, it all makes a lot no, of sense. No, that's good. Yeah. I like that. Well, the reason why I was looking for, uh, at my phone while you were talking then yeah. uh, was because Amy Sarah Hensman sent us a message. Mm. Hensmania is her, is her handle apparently Yeah. on Instagram. She's got 218 followers. Cool. 
and she's posted 425 times. That seems like a lot. I don't know how many I've done. It's not that many. I think I've done about 18. I've sort of moved into more stories now. Yeah, but mm. then they go away. Anyway, yeah, I know that's what, does, what does Hell's Mania, Hen's Mania want to know? She's just listened uh, to the Demon Girl episode. This was on Saturday night at 10.47. It, what has this got to do with the Basin Reserve? We'll get there if you okay. give me a moment. Yep. Just listen to the Demon Girl episode where you chat about episode ideas. Mm. This is where it comes in now. You ready? Okay, yep. The cricket one. Yes. Is brilliant, especially as the museum stand at the Basin Reserve. You see now yeah, while yeah. I've looked this up, is haunted. That's what I've heard as well. Many cricket Wellington staff over the years have seen the ghost. Many. We've well, this, we've got to do it. Well, yeah. And, and and people will remember from the Jermaine Clement episode zzz, that he said, uh, we're going to do another series. Well, then, look, that's got to be locked in because I re- do you reckon it's that um, that big life-size Jeremy Coney that uh, comes to life yeah. at night? That would be good, and then we could get Jeremy Coney on. Sure, we can anyway. How good, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. How good would that be? Yeah. The good thing is, I mean, obviously, we've we've got a guest coming up today who I know is an avid cricket fan. He is. So I think it, it makes sense that we're talking about cricket at this no, time. That's good, actually. And I've actually got some footage of him. I think it's still on my phone. Um, of him playing cricket in my, well, pretending to play cricket in my lounge at Mower Point. Yep. Um, he was bowling. Timothy Foley, who played the Greek in the yes. sauna episode, um, he was, mm, he might have been keeping. And uh, Johnny Bruff was batting. Mm. This was about three o'clock in the morning. Um, and this fake game of cricket, um, Went for probably twenty five minutes. <laughs> so no ball, completely, no bat, no ball, no yep, bat. No completely, and this was driven by Cohen Holloway. Completely invented a narrative of a game, of him bowling at Johnny Bruff and getting increasingly annoyed and more fiery between batsman and bowler. Yeah, with Tim Foley having to come in and and calm him down, while Zara and I were just sitting on the couch. Crying with laughter, <laughs> one of the greatest performances I've ever seen from Cohen, and I've seen some goodies. God, it was funny. <laughs> a few beers were involved at that point. Um, anyway, we're going to have a yarn to Cohen um, very shortly. We've actually had, we've done a lot of things together, you as well. But I think you've mostly yeah. done projects with him where he's been in it, but you might not necessarily had scenes with him. No, that's that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we've you know, but obviously as well, I can't wait to talk to him about the amazing time he did that audition with me, which is why I'm here in the in the yeah. first place. And that will be interesting to see if I did an audition with him because I don't remember. Or if he remembers doing one with me, he might not. Oh, that's true. Or if he's jealous of the fact that you got the part, maybe he wanted to be the copper. Well, he'd already been the wolf, and I don't think he did. No, he hadn't been the wolf. <sighs> He was already cast as the wolf. He did the audition for me for What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, yeah, that's right. He could have been the copper in What We Do in the Shadows. I'm wondering if... Yeah, we should we should probably wait for it until we're talking to him and then we can ask him. Oh, but it's interesting. Directly. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Everyone's <laughs> going to hear these questions just before, twice. Before we, before we get into talking to Cohen, I keep forgetting that I need to, I need to say hello to some uh, lovely oh, people okay. over in England. Mm-hmm. Um, Louise and Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie was a cop for oh. many years and recently retired. Louise is her friend who emailed me. There you guys are. I'm looking at you now. If you're watching on the YouTube, hello, everybody. Just the two of you, actually, and anyone else that likes you. Um, yeah, they recently retired. Anne-Marie apparently was an amazing, amazing copper. Did lots of work for for like, for like women as, especially. So I just wanted to give you a shout-out. I know you listen to the podcast, and yeah. I think that is fantastic. So, so another, thank you for getting in touch. Another name for coppers is filth. But I would never say that about you guys because I think you're probably very clean. <laughs> <laughs> and I come – a lot of my family are police officers. So I can say that, but I would never say it. To it's her. like I can say. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. All my friends are cops. I, no, I don't say that. I don't <laughs> have friends. That. I, actually, my cousin's a cop. Oh, there you go. Yep. But you've always see you're saying just before we got on the podcast, you didn't like him or her. Oh, Paul. Yeah, Paul. I love Paul O'Leary. Oh, yeah, you do actually. I he's, remember that. Yeah, name, Paul. he's the one who told me there was a warrant out for my arrest one time. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Stay on the down low there, O'Leary. Yeah. Keep you. Yeah, <laughs> good on you. Um. And I've got to say hello to a couple of people as well. I went to Symphony um, last weekend, which is a concert. I think I told you about it, didn't you did? I? Yep. Um, and who You're performed there? Impressed. John Butler, Fat Freddy's Drop, Rudimental, then the Auckland Philharmonic, or oh, Tikitane. 
Um, the Auckland Philharmonic performed with those singers and did sort of dance music with a whole bunch of laser shows, etc. Really, really good. And I met a lot of lovely people there. And I got my very first person come up to me and say that um, they, in this case a she, uh, love the podcast. Well, how fantastic. Her name was Charlotte and her I'm assuming it was her boyfriend now. Now, I don't want to be presuming things. but So the person I she think, was with? Yeah, the human she was with was Ruben. Big, big fans of the podcast. Um, so kia ora to you. Uh, they were probably, I did say, I'll say good day to you because I was pretty impressed that they were fans of the show. Mm. G'day, g'day, we g'day. We appreciate it's it. It's lovely to see you. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll probably have a yarn to old mate, um, Cohen. Righto. Right. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Cohen. Oh, How are you? That's oh, nice. See, yeah, you shut up, Mike. Oh, shut yeah. up, Mike. Yeah, Michael sweet Cohen. Ass. No, just, just put a sock in it for a minute. Oh, there he is. We, Here he we is. We were loving um, uh, issues, guy, and you, you were great on it. Oh, Petty Gower. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, that's very kind of you to say. Do you know that uh, yeah. Karen won uh, Best Presenter Entertainment at the New Zealand Television Awards? I oh, did. I put love, love. Yeah, you did. He always tip. comments the lovely things on my yeah, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm always very yeah. appreciative. But you yeah. also you won uh, an award, but I think you won an award at the uh, at the New yeah, Zealand Film and Television Awards, didn't you? Oh yeah, we won best best um, actor short film. No, you won best actor. Did I? Yeah, David Doherty. Until proven innocent. Come oh, on, man. years ago. I thought you meant Come this on, year. I was man. going, what? No, not this year. <laughs> no, you haven't won for decades, man. <laughs> Shut up. Decades. Shut up, bro. But that was a good one. That was a good one to win. I think that might have been one of the first times I ever saw you. Um, I was like, yeah, man, this guy does look like. Did you see him, you mean like on the TV? Yeah, on the TV. I don't know if I knew you then, man, or if I just saw that. No, I, I, the first time I met you was um, the, uh, that. Um, You've been eating your dinner, man. You're burping <laughs> heaps. Yeah, bro, I scoffed it. It was uh, <laughs> pork roast with crackling. <laughs> oh, yum. You saved me some? Hey. Do you save me some? Hey, Karen. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> Who eats their dinner at 8 o'clock at night, man? I normally have my dinner about 6.40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I postponed it for this cock that <laughs> will get thing. <laughs> you, you say it, Cohen. And gosh, yeah. you look lovely as well, by the way. Yeah. It does, actually. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Where did you start I'll wearing glasses, that. man? You look hot all the time. I, I, yeah. I just when I act, I wear contact lenses. Oh, I think, but I think what's making it with the glasses is you've got that kind of the like some people would say old person string thing that goes yeah. down the back to make sure they don't fall off your face. Oh, no, is that? Nah, is that's, that, that's, that's the that's that, headphones. Oh, it, you don't, yeah. like, got is those this part of the podcast? This no, we haven't started shit. yet, bro. We haven't started yet. But we probably will use all of that. Yeah, no, we haven't started yet. We're going to start about 9.30 after you finish your fucking dinner. <laughs> I've finished. <laughs> okay, well then. <laughs> this is all part of uh, it, man. This is all part yeah, of bro. it. Yeah. Hey. I thought Jacob was a Samoan <laughs> when I saw his name. Potty Jake. What would you He's say? actually Potty from, Jake? what about when you heard his voice? No, 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 sorry. When I saw the email, I just yeah, yeah. I thought he was some, some one guy. Oh, yeah. Vale. vale. Oh, Jacob Vale. Oh, right, yes, right. Because vale. his vale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He no, said, Jacob Vale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, thanks for doing this, man. Haven't seen your face no. for ages. It's been a while. Yeah. Wow. It's been a while. We might, as well, we might as well start. We might as well start with some uh, Wellington. Well, actually, what we do in the shadows. Have you got a question? Yeah. And Karen's been lining this. She's got it highlighted <laughs> no. on her bit of paper no, here, that's, man. No, that's another yeah. question. Oh, is it a different one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to – I want to – because obviously the, the, the nature of this podcast is to talk about how we – how on earth we got here to this point. And obviously it started with what we do in the shadows. And I have told the story many times about the fact that I didn't even really know I was doing an audition. And when I got there, you were there. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's that famous guy. And we did our audition hey. together with in front of yep. Lauren Taylor and, and Tina Cleary. And I just wanted to know, A, do you remember that? <laughs> yep. And B, what can you tell us about it? Oh, I remember Tina was really, really excited because she said um, a lot of people were acting like a cop and it's so hard to get someone who's kind of has those qualities and is just themselves. Yeah, so when Lauren said she 
she couldn't make the dates. Um, Lauren Taylor, yeah, she said, oh, I think I might have a backup, and then you walked in, which was awesome. Is uh, that right? Right. So originally yeah. it was going to be Lauren Taylor. No, I was just trying to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, Lauren was watching. They're not all winners, bro. But I remember doing that, like, obviously because I was yeah. ever so ne- I had no idea what I was doing, so nervous. I was like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he's a prop, you know, and they're like, just come out of that room. Yeah, but you, no, you, you do. Anyway, but you you made me feel very at ease. And then at but, ease, oh, you nice. remember those, yeah. bro? And then we that came band? out. We're not talking about band. Look, Mike, at ease. Sh- just let me have one nah. time to talk. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Um, was it like this on Paranormal? <laughs> yes, it, it, it was. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Stop giggling away. Just shush. Mm. Anyway, back to my back to this, <laughs> the one story I wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, it's a good story. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. It would be if yeah. you stopped interrupting. Gee whiz. <laughs> what? You're interrupting Do you guys yourself, need me? Man. Or I could, <laughs> no, no, I could. no, no. We're just, having, we're just having a, a, a lover's tiff. Um, yeah. No, but basically, I remember that we did that. But when and you got really heavy. I remember you getting quite heavy on trying to find drugs in the house in that audition. And I thought that was yeah. hilarious. And then we did. We went back into the room, but you kept going because I thought, okay, the door's shut. We can stop now. And you were like, and then we started talking about you were like, what? What did you? I can't remember what you said, but it was so funny, and it was something to do with my sexuality. And it was it was the funniest part of the audition, which was behind the door. I didn't even get anywhere, but I just remember thinking, this guy is a cracker. That's amazing. You can remember all that. Yeah. Jeez, how much? Yeah. How much do you remember that, Cohen? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Look, in one ear. Uh, Can I ask you a question related to Karen's um, statement there? Um, yep. At what point were you cast as a werewolf? Were you already um, cast at this point or did you audition for a bunch of different characters? No, nah, I don't even think I did an audition. Um, well, you they did had, with me. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think Cohen was reading with you. Were, Cohen, were recovery? you reading with it, with her? Yeah, I wasn't the co- I was just reading. Yeah, see? Yeah, but he, wasn't, it was he didn't improv. have any paper. Well, it was improvised, yeah. That's, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 see, that's what, what I thought. Script? I thought because you were always. So he was like my helper, like my minder. He had to do the scene with to, you. To give us some yeah, interaction. Your scene, he's yeah, your scene yeah, partner. Yeah, got it. Okay, and it was. See, look again, yeah. learn something and, every day. And Cohen, you did a lot of that, didn't you? You did heaps of um, uh, work with. Tina Cleary Tina and, and Miranda. Cast. Yeah. Yeah, no, they were great. They um, always got me to help out. Yeah. Because you're get so to, good at it, that's why I'll I look. Get, yeah, I'll get oh. to a story later on about one of the uh, one of the auditions I did with you one time where you freaked me out. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell it now, actually. Um, you, I, I came, I can't remember what it was for, but it was, it was at, it was with Tina or, well, actually it might have been with Miranda. Uh, Miranda yep. Rivers and um, I came in there. You and came in there. I did. Wow. I came in Whoa. there hard, hard and fast, <laughs> and uh, I was in there and I hadn't seen you for a while, man. And yeah, you started talking to me, and I thought, "What's he doing? He's taking the piss out. What's he doing here? Is that because you're all, you know you're all, you're never serious?" And Bye. what I didn't, <laughs> what what I did not you. Know, did not know was that you at some point recently had um, gained uh, Bell's palsy. Oh, ages ago, you mean? No, like, well, this was yeah when this happened. This was oh, yeah, this was yeah, so long yeah, ago. Yeah. But in between yeah. me seeing you and doing this audition, you had got Bell's palsy. But I yep. walked in and you had Bell's palsy, but nobody yep. told me that you had that. And I was like, "What's he doing? He's taking the piss out of me! Like he's doing one of his oh, things. Oh, he's doing shit. one of his things." <laughs> and uh, and then, but nobody said it. Oh. Like you didn't say anything about it. And normally you would, you know, you would let it go pretty quick. And I was like, "What the fuck? What's going on?" Now, Bell's palsy for people who don't know, you get sort of paralysis in half of your face. Is that what it is, bro? Yeah. Good. Yeah. And. <laughs> and and so I didn't know what was going on, and at all. And I'd never even, I didn't even if you told me it was Bell's palsy, I wouldn't have known what it was because I'd never heard of it. And then yeah. I were doing the audition. I did maybe one take of it, and I was like, "Man, I'm thirsty, bro, I'm thirsty." I was like, "Have you guys got a water?" And you're like, "Oh, you can have a sip of my Powerade if you want." <laughs> oh, no. and I was like, "Nah, now nah, I'm all goods, man. I'm all good." Because you didn't want to catch yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had I'd no idea. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. you can, like, you and I were always auditioning for the same roles, yeah, and you I, would 
always, even when you had Bell's palsy, you would still get the fucking part. Oh, <laughs> and that, that is true, Cohen, because I have heard this many, many times. Yeah. It's like, oh, but no, Cohen's going for it. I'm not yeah, going to get it. Yeah, it's all over. It's all over. You got a cop roll over me, and I was doing the recalls, and I went, oh, bloody Mike. A cop roll. And, um, yeah, it was um, – I don't think either of us got it at the end of the day, but me and you were down to the wire, and it was <laughs> – you know those ones where <laughs> – you know, Mike and Cohen are down to the wire and you go, God, I wonder who's going to get it. And I can't remember who got it, but it's someone like, you know, Jermaine or... Yeah, it's someone else. Know. Yeah, someone else of quality. Well, I do remember we ended up doing How to Murder Your Wife. We did that together. We both both got to be cops oh, on that. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. So you they, both won. We both, you, we you both, both got won. it. <laughs> you there was a, a few cops. There was a yeah. lot of cops in that one. Yeah. A lot of cops. Hey, um, got our first question here for you, though, Cohen. We'll give you a chance yes. to speak, which will be nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why acting? Um, I was in oh, – I'd, I'd always enjoyed making people laugh, as you two probably do. You get a reaction from it, eh? And uh, I didn't – what am I now getting on? I was going to save my age on it. Ah. Um, <laughs> they can and, find uh, it on the internet. Yeah, 37. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, there was no – I mean, there was New Zealand drama school, but it was pretty hard to get into, and there was no – besides Shortland Street, um, uh, what's the other one, with Azena yeah. and, and a couple of others, there wasn't much. So – I was like, nah, I'll do something else. So I did um, pretty well at college. And uh, is it still called college? Yeah, no. I My think so. My school college, yeah, it's college, yeah. Where college. did you grow up? Um, Porirua till I was about six. Yeah. And then we moved to Wellington um, up the hill from the zoo. Um, Melrose? Yeah. Yeah. So what oh, college? Just tell people where I live. Good one. Where do you live? I don't live? know you still live there. I live in Brooklyn. No, I hadn't finished. Okay, sorry. Okay, well then, all right, sorry, I'll stop interrupting. <laughs> wow. Let's stop man. interrupting. <laughs> Far out. So, yeah, so then we ended up going to uh, Newtown School, South Wellington, Wellington High School. And uh, do you remember back, back in, well, my day, I'm sure it would be the same for you guys, was um, the, like, you got a one, a two, a three, a four, yeah, a five, or a form. six. Yep, and six four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then if you're top four, four were less than twelve. Yeah, you yep. were uh, getting to university. Yeah, and um, I missed out. I must by have two. been sick that day. What's that? For? I must have been sick that day. I don't remember any of that. What? Hang on, Cohen. Just quickly though, what year was your last year at Wellington High School? Um. Well, I would have been. Um, if you're 23, you were 23 <laughs> when you graduated. <laughs> <laughs> but were you there at all? Were you there in the 90s? Or not? I actually don't know how old you are. I'm I'm 47, bro. What are you? I'm 45. Ish. 51. Oh, so, 51. Oh, so, because I was at high school until 95, but you were you were there in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. 72 so we, yeah. plus 17 is 89. Yes, right. We just missed each yeah. other. Shame. Shame, shame. It was Pat McKelvey still? Yep. Yeah, Trish, yep. Yep, who used to play cricket for New Zealand for the women's cricket team. Yeah, I know. I was she like, was hearty, eh? Hey? Yeah, and also quite yep. scary. Mad Pat. They and Wai Marama, and Wai Marama Tomanu was there, who used to play for the Silver Ferns. Remember yes. her? And yep. Daryl. I didn't you mind remember her. Daryl? You didn't like her. Or you didn't mind her. I didn't mind her. I thought. No, she I was thought quite she was great. Cool. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. Carry we on. Do. With, I don't know where the story was going, but Darren Darren Wong. <laughs> No, that's South Wellington. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's him, Bo. That's him. Yeah. Uh, so that, so you, you wanted to uh, be an actor because you like making people laugh, but there's no way to get a job, but you did pretty well at school even though you couldn't get into university. Yeah, so then there was this um, – <laughs> there was a BNZ had a um, – That's right. Yeah, that's right. Had a um, if your top four grades were less than sixteen, you could go on their program to be a retail banker. Yeah, and um, <laughs> really, it was yeah. 
it was really it was quite good money. So I was like, oh yeah. So I'd never really had a job. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, started doing that, and then stayed there for six years, which went real fast. That's a, yeah, your twenties though. Are uh, you sort of you got some money? You're probably oh. on the hammer all the time. Yeah, bro. If Way I remember that, I forgot actually forgot about that. But you worked with a mate of mine from Horofenua College, Glenn Hewer. Oh, he's a good man, isn't he? Yeah, and his brother um, Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. Yeah, they're great lads. Yeah, they're legendary. Really good fellas. Yeah. And I vaguely remember that Glenn said to you, "You should not be working here, man." Yes. Well, that you're was too, the day that you're too dumb. Yeah. Yeah, but he put a. Um, <laughs> I was. He put a little. Um, uh, remember, we had the Dominion in the morning and the evening post. Yeah. Yep. In the afternoon. He got the Dominion and he cut out this um, acting school in Porirua. And he goes, you're going to that. Yeah. And that was Glenn. That was Glenn, bro. How yeah, good we is were, that? We good. Awesome. He's just, yeah, he's such a great guy. And that was it. You, had, you had a crack. Yeah, then I rang the number and they said, yeah, come for an audition. The school opens on Monday. And this was like a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> And I was thinking, they just want my money. And I didn't think I was any good, but um, I went along on the um, Friday and did the audition and they basically just took my money. I, I, I don't <laughs> think I was very good at an audition. And, um, yeah, they they said, we'll see you whenever you can get out of the bank. And what was that? So over that six-year period, up to that point where you sort of think to yourself, oh, I don't know if I want to be doing this for too much longer. Did you have an itch to get into acting or? I kind of did everything. I was in a band um, that I I won the lead singer role through um, a radio station, which I think it was Radio Windy. Radio Windy. Wow. Yeah, Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, that's before it became The Breeze because they were like, we don't want to sound too windy in Wellington, so they changed it to The Breeze, which is a load of shit. It is windy. Yeah, Windy turned into The Breeze just to make it sound better to to people out of Wellington. Yeah, true. And yeah. then our rugby team's the Hurricanes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should call them <laughs> the Zephyrs. The Zephyrs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and John. you've got a um, a really cool story about how you got into that band um, and the biggest gig that you ever had. Can you tell us that one? Yeah, I won a um, competition to uh, – basically it was just an impersonation of Andrew Strong, who was the – Lead singer, actor of the commitments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, Mustang Sally was the song I chose. Sang it on the phone, the old school, you know, yeah, trolley phone. And um, they said, uh, mate, that was incredible. That was so good. And I was just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, um, they said, we'll let the, we'll pick our top three and we'll let the, um, Listener, well, you know how it works, Mike. We'll let yeah. the listeners decide. <laughs> and um, they chose me, which was amazing. How good. Oh, mate, it was so exciting. And I threw my voice out because um, we went to the old school Molly Malone's on the corner. Yeah. Which is now closed down because of these um, earthquakes. Yeah. And uh, went there and I was looking at all the band, you know, they're all don 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 tuning up and I was 17 full of acne, just don't know <laughs> dear. And asking um where's the Mark McLeod? That's it. Mark McLeod was the DJ host of, of Windy back then. Um and I found him and he goes, Who are you? And I said, I'm the I'm Cohen. And he goes, You look about twelve. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And he goes, did you get your dad to sing it and you've turned up? I said, no, no, that's, I can do that. And um, he goes, you know, come here. And basically around the corner he goes, just give me a little belt of it. And I went, you know, Mustang Sally, you know, whatever. Yeah. And he goes, oh, wow, that's amazing. And um, people had been invited to, you know, buy breakfast and listen to me <laughs> sing past the Cambridge Spelly. <laughs> oh, what a prize. What a prize. And uh, I hadn't really <laughs> been in a band, so what a prize. I love it. And um, it, was it was really hard to stay on track with the 
you know, with yeah. the music and stuff. We were told <laughs> to do seven songs, which is about 35 to 45 minutes. Jeez. And with, with a bit of banter, and I was yeah. just going, hey, Jane Wellington, we love you. Um, Brian's on his way. So they're wanting Brian, and he was running <laughs> so late. We started doing our whole set again because we weren't allowed to do covers. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's an APRA thing. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah. So, so you couldn't so. do Mustang Sally. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Have been. Fuck, that would have been a great idea. Actually. <laughs> here's one. So, yeah, so we were singing for maybe an extra 35, 40 minutes and people were just getting so angry because they wanted – they didn't know any of our songs. Nah. Yeah. And – and um. You know, back in, uh, geez, I can't remember the date. I think it was 1990-something. Um, there was about 6,000 people in there, and it was like a garage, and just uh, yeah. the roof was dripping. Oh, yeah. It was that, yeah, and it was just gross. I was yeah. just like, oh, God, get me okay. out of here. Give us a line from one of your, your best songs from Quiet Land Earth, um, the other one. Yeah. Geez, you've got a good memory. Yeah. Um, well, we had... Really cool pump it songs, which are really great. Pump it, you know, like he, you know, back in the day it was yeah, mostly, yeah, yeah. you know, like yeah, yeah. music factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pump up the jam, pump it up. <laughs> uh, oh, Donny bought a Corvette was a really good one. Oh, yeah, with some good, good um, fans or groupies or whatever you want to so call them. So kind of them. based on Mustang Sally, but about a Corvette and a, and a guy. Corvette Bill, what was it? <laughs> yes. oh, uh, Johnny bought a Corvette. So ultimately, anyway, what happened to that Brian Adam concert, I'll tell you, was that um, the crowd started chanting at you, fuck Where off, fuck off, fuck off. Yep. I started the yep. chant, man. <laughs> fuck off. Wow. So he's the at the Brian Adams concert. And they started chanting that at you. And I always thought, oh, that's a nice thing to happen to Cohen. And then you wow. came up, then that was the end of it for you, eh? No more singing in a band. The one that kind of did it for me was... Um, we did. We got paid out by check back in the day <laughs> for doing a Christmas do in Levin. Yeah, and, boy. Yeah, boy. And it came through on facsimile. Yeah, boy. And um, I think it was maybe six grand for the whole oh. lot of us. <sighs> yeah. And That's there was. Eight. Yeah, there was. Yeah, drummer, lead guitar, bass, Cohen. <laughs> uh, no soundy in those days. God, nah, we should nah, have had nah, one. Nah. Holy shit. Um, so, yeah, we got about a grand each after after gas and food. Jeez, that's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. No, it was great. 